Alright, hi engineers, my name is Wimbi Mwanza and uh, I'm at the University of Zambia as a student studying agriculture engineering and I'm in my fourth year. Yes, so many next year I'm finishing. Yeah. So um, in this video I'd like to bring to you a different perspective from what you know about agriculture engineering. So I'm hoping to explain to you uh, what agriculture engineering is all about and uh, furthermore explain to you some of the advantages that come with agriculture engineering. Yes. So let's dive into the first question. What is agriculture engineering? So um, from the two main two words in that in that in that word for the program, agriculture and engineering, we see that agriculture engineering is under the school of engineering. And uh, as we know, that program or that school is a discipline, and therefore there are fundamental principles that govern engineering uh, field. And therefore, our interest as agricultural engineers is to take these uh, engineering principles and apply them in agriculture. That is, crop production. We talk about animal production as well as the major. And our interest, above all, is to make sure that we have the maximum production in these two uh, primary areas in agriculture or area of our concern. So we want to bring about for, uh, maximum production. So for example, we have fluid mechanics as one of the fundamental principles uh, that govern engineering. And our interest there then is to apply that knowledge or principle of theorem or law, however you want to put it, uh, into agriculture in this way. So we always want to have our crops watered in time and uh, with the right quantity. So you might find that maybe uh, the rains are not doing so well. So therefore, we employ what we call irrigation system on our farm to make sure that our crop receive sufficient amount of water for their production. And the other um, most important as well in agriculture, the fundamental that is most important is uh, structure design fundamentals, which we study alongside animal physiology. So uh, maybe you might ask why animal physiology and uh, engineering. So basically our interest here is to make sure we understand the physiology of the animal because different animals are stimulated differently uh, for their production. So therefore you'd find, for example, um, broilers, chickens, right? So we need enough light in that, in that poultry house, or more especially layers when we talk about eggs, we need enough light in that poultry house, for they are stimulated for egg production to the maximum, right? So understanding that physiology of the animal will also then give us an idea on how to design our structure for that particular animal. So that's the reason why we want to look at animal physiology alongside uh, uh, farm structure design. Yes. So the other principle again that is of interest uh, to agriculture engineering is uh, soil physiology or mechanism. So we'd like to understand how that the soil interacts with the crop for maximum production. At the end of the day, it's a maximum production. So therefore, there are different types of uh, soils of which to the extreme we can say um, clay to sand. So these two extremes basically may be quantified or classified in terms of, uh, in terms of how water drains in, in these two extremes. So for example, in sand, water drains faster, in clay, water drains slower, right? So therefore, understanding the physiology or the mechanism of these different types of soils will also help us to understand what kind of a crop would thrive better in a particular soil. For example, if I have a field full of sand, what kind of crop can, can thrive better to the maximum production in that particular kind of soil? So understanding that, that, uh, that fundamental mechanism of soil in relation to crop production is our interest as agricultural engineers. Yes. So basically those can be some of the areas of concern. Like to make note to you. So the other thing that would like, I would like to bring to you is what are some of the advantages of agricultural engineering? So on my end, 
And uh, I want to hope every agriculture engineer as well. Uh, the most advantageous thing about agriculture engineering is that it gives you the power to get in control of your own resources. What I mean is that agriculture engineering is entrepreneurial in nature. So we talk about keeping of animals, producing crops and stuff like that, and many more things. At the end of the day, when we produce, we want to put them on the market and sell them for cash, for a dollar or a quatch. Yes. So that gives you the power to get in control of the whole resource. No need to be employed if you want, because you can produce with a little as much as you can, and people always want to eat. So that gives you the power. So the other advantage of agriculture engineering is that it's comprehensive in nature in that almost all the departments in agriculture and engineering um, are accepted or engulfed in agriculture because when we talk about land survey, we do that. When we talk about electrical stuff, when we talk about farm structure designs, when we talk about um, uh, maybe machine component design. We all do all those things for our own machine, as you can see in this room. We have to do to create as mechanical engineers do, to make our own components for our own machines to keep running. So we all study all those programs that pertain to us understanding the fundamentals that guide our different machines. So, so the other advantageous part again in your agriculture engineering is that it gives you the power to use technology. So there's what we call drone technology that has come and uh, And we can use drone technology for monitoring the field. We can use drone technology for fertigation, that is applying of fertilizer to crops. You can use drone technology for irrigation. Yes, simple as that. You can use it for irrigation. So that is what agriculture engineering is all about. And maybe just giving one disadvantage, and of which is not an disadvantage about the program itself, that as students that study the program. So we think that agricultural engineering, there, there is no math involved here, it's easy. Yes. But truth to be told, agricultural engineering is as mathematical as any program under engineering because we are understanding fundamental laws that govern engineering to be applied in agriculture. So in each and every program, you're going to find math. So you just have to get ready for math because you can't do away with, without math. All right, so um, in conclusion, I'd like to say that if you choose agriculture engineering, you will not be disappointed. Perhaps maybe this has not been a good perspective to you, um, I encourage you to come and see it for yourself, do the program yourself. It will be great because uh, the great family here, our fifth years, our lecturers are, are great people. Uh, so the other advice I'd like to give you is to make sure that uh, as you come to do this program, first thing first, know what is required of you in terms of your input as a student. So that it should not become a surprise when certain things are beginning to show up that you never expected. So, yeah, so find out what is expected of you so that you do your best to bring out the best that you can. The last one would be that um, as we all know that all this thing one day will pass away. And therefore my advice to you is to make sure that as you study, let agriculture engineering take you closer and closer to the will of God. That's the only difference that you can make because we might leave agriculture engineering. But when you are closer to God, never be left behind. So otherwise, I encourage you to subscribe to Green Engine Media and let's get interactive in the comments below. If you have any questions, please don't spare them, ask them and we are here to answer them.